going? Welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today. Actually, I'm Double Me. That's the old me, actually. Um, so, yeah. And this one. I look different. Never mind. In this review, we're going to be doing um, Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban. The game, actually. So, let's just get on to it. As far as the game plan everything goes, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is the the last game that featured a behind-the-back third-person gameplay style. The Goblet of Fire, uh, the fourth part, um, developed or incorporated a new play style to the game, which was a bit different from which you had a bird's-eye view. Um, but, as said, this is the the final one with the back camera third person game. So, it's pretty much one of my favorite Harry Potter games um, of the three, of the first three. These were, in my opinion, the best since it gave you a better sense of adventure and everything um, than the other ones do. And there's not a lot of grinding and everything to do as in the other ones. In these, in the first three ones, you just Go through the story and explore the secrets of Hogwarts. So, as far as the story goes, um, since we just got to it, um, the story follows the original um, the original story from the books and the movies. So, um, there haven't been much changes made except for the spell classes and everything which were added um, to to give you another um, another look into the into the world of Hogwarts and how everything takes place uh, there are some there are a few new spells to um, to try out and to go through classes in the in the whole game um, in which you play as either Harry Ron or Hermione each one has his own unique spell that they learn um, that, well, you have to use them throughout the game to get to secrets to, I don't know, get through stages and everything. So, yeah, um, I'd recommend this game to all of you people who are fans of the Harry Potter series. It's pretty much one of my favorites, um, of the series because the ones that come after this one, um, were not as good as the first three. But that's just my opinion, um, so... I recommend it to all of you guys who like third-person games and, as said, love the Harry Potter genre. So that's going to be all from my side. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.